This year is a dead robot, and this year is a dead laptop, dead tablet, and of course a dead battery, all because I don't charge them when I should. And that actually pays a toll, for instance, this particular battery will not charge anymore because I let it drop way too low below than its minimum charging port. Now, that is an issue as a tech influencer, or just anybody who's into tech to general, that it is really difficult to keep up with charging all your products, and the good folks over at Basis actually might have come up with a solution for that. This here is the Basis PD 140 watt fast charging with a 24,000 milliamp capacity allowing to go ahead and charge on the go your laptop as well as other products based on your liking with a fast charging capacity making it quite simple. Now this here is also an AC-DC 10 port output allowing to go and charge a variety of different devices and powering a variety of different devices at once with one simple port making it simple and convenient. So let's go ahead and get started. So we got these two different products that Basis sent us. Now they make a lot of different products, uh, including these two obviously, but they have, uh, I believe, charger banks, they have uh, power stations, different things like that. So obviously they are well known into the market for this kind of stuff. First thing I'm looking at is our PD 140 watt fast charging uh, power bank. So this is designed to charge your laptop, your devices, uh, and stuff like that. Do that ASMR. So this here is our power bank. Uh, surprisingly pretty light. I think it weighs about 450 grams. I mean, this is about yay big. Uh, and it has a little display screen as well, showing the battery life. You have your power button. You'll have two USB-C ports and a USB-B port. And that is about it in terms of what exact ports are on there. Kind of wish they had more, but I mean, I guess it charges your laptop, so that's pretty good. Uh, it does come with a USB-C to USB-C cable, so that is nice, so you don't really have to worry about uh, hauling a bunch of cables, like I, how I kind of prepared ahead of time for this particular video. It comes with a user manual and some stickers. Yeah, okay, uh, yes, so I hit this power button here and it'll turn it on, it says 39%, so that is the current capacity out of the box, so 39%. Uh, it's got an LCD display, so that's kind of interesting, so it's not like a digital display, it's an LCD, so it's got those little dots. So just uh, FYI, not as bright, not as vibrant, but it does work and it does tell you exactly how much percentage is there. So that is that in a nutshell. Now, uh, before we charge that and try that, let's take a look at our AC-DC 10 35 watt output. Uh, surge protection, so you can technically charge a variety of different devices and uh, not worry about it kind of destroying anything. All right, so check it out. So we have a few different ports here. We have our AC ports, of course, and then we have uh, two USB-Cs and two USB, a uh, total of 10 ports. And then you have this little sticky pad. You put it on the bottom there, and I believe you can go ahead and mount this somewhere based off of that, so it doesn't really like slide about. But again, I mean, it's pretty heavy duty kind of feel, so I wouldn't really imagine it kind of going too much. It's got a power button on the top, so that's kind of nice. You can go and just simply hit that power button, turn it off. Comes with a little Velcro strap to go ahead open up the cable to show how long of a cable we have so about my arm length well a little shorter shorter than my arm length uh let's go ahead and start setting this thing up too so it's a hp laptop uh let's go ahead and open up this cable here plug it in on here now it's got two different type c ports so you have an output and you have an input in other words the input output it allows you to go ahead and charge it uh based on that so let's just try output and hit power is 5.1 volts so it actually tells you how much the actual output is yeah we got we got a light no this is completely dead just enough why i haven't used this in like months all right so it's charging the laptop so that is a plus uh while we're charging the laptop i'm gonna see if i can go ahead and charge my tablet next and uh we'll plug this one here on the other one here we go all right, we got a boot up sign, so that's nice. So now we're charging our tablet, uh, and it says 39 still. So hit the power button, so you five volts out. So that's good too. So I'm gonna plug in my USB uh, into the third port. Now I have another one here, so what we'll do is we'll charge our robot. Plug into the back, and it's booting. So it is working, so that's great. Uh, and right now we're charging all three devices simultaneously, so that is pretty cool. So it is actually working the way it's supposed to. 
Uh, it says 38 percentage left. Hit the power button again. It says 5 volts out, 1.8 amps out, um, 5.2, etc. There you go. Oh, 14 <laughs> percent. Check it out. It's working. All right. Well, in the meantime, um, while these things are charging, we're going to go ahead and set this guy up. All right. So if I hit the on button, Oh, it's got a digital LCD display. Look at that. So very similar to this power station charger here. It has the same exact uh, showcase of display reading. So I'm going to put in this here and uh, see if this charges. It's blinking. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> it's still dead. It is trying to charge it. So that's nice. That's actually promising. So that's not charging. I'm going to try this other battery that also died out here. So I can tell what's happening here. So right now it does show that it has an outage of 124 volts. So it is trying to charge it, which is nice. But yeah, so that is uh, charging both of these batteries. So that is good. All right, and then the next thing I wanna do is show it charging a robot. So we're gonna go ahead and try charging our Grimlock. So for that, we'll use this cable here. All right, we got a red LED and it's charging. So that's good. So everything's working, uh, has a live readout. Uh, we have all our different devices charging, and yeah, this is exactly what it's entitled to do. So this is great in terms of being able to utilize all these different ports. Uh, it makes it very convenient, and they have the actual AC ports up and down, so you can go ahead and have them like flipped upside down so they're not kind of like blocking each other. Uh, I think that's very important, especially when it comes to these power uh, docks here that they literally get so close that it makes it so difficult to go ahead and utilize it. Oh, <laughs> so let's see if this guy turns on. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so it works. So you can see that just like that, we were able to use, utilize this to go ahead and charge Grimlock. Hey, Grimlock. Yes, we go. Transform. <laughs> it never gets uh, old. So yes, just like that, we are able to go ahead and charge our robot, uh, charge these different devices. So this is great to be able to utilize it as a power strip goes. You have a lot of different ports on it, making it very convenient. You have all your access ports here on the front. And then of course it does give you the live readout, which is always a plus to make sure that is it actually charging? Well, this is a great way to show it. And then of course you have your portable one, which is actually really nice for convenient sake. You just go ahead and take off these USB-C and USB-B cables and just like that, we can go ahead and fit this in our pocket and this is great in terms of traveling goes if you're trying to charge your laptop on the go or if you're just trying to do editing on the go i can see this being very handy the nonetheless and yeah there you guys have it now if you guys have any questions about these particular products comment down below otherwise we'll see you guys next time take care now bye bye